Networking Dynamic Routing By the end of this training, you'll be able to enable OSPF on an interface. When you talk about dynamic routing, there is so much to discuss. It's a very efficient way to build your routing table in a dynamic and automatic manner. So you need to enable the dynamic routing protocol, configure it, and watch the magic happens. When you think about dynamic routing, OSPF and BGP are two common, very useful dynamic routing protocols that come to mind. In this demo, I'll show you how to configure OSPF on your Quantum Spark. For the purpose of this demo, I've already set up a checkpoint security gateway running OSPF. And what we'll do here is I'll set up the Quantum Spark to establish neighbor relationship with that router. Going to OSPF, add an interface. So I'll be using LAN 1, area 0. I'm going to keep the intervals as default, 10 and 40. Uh, this is not going to be a passive interface. Press apply. And now if I'll go to the routing table, and here it is. Look at this beautiful route. If you want to reach 10.1.1.0 slash 24, your next hop is this address. And this is an OSPF protocol. It's a dynamic route. And all I had to do was to just configure OSPF. And the cool thing was I've configured OSPF on the Quantum Spark using a graphical interface, which is such a relief, actually. That's really cool. I really, really love this feature, and I hope you'll take the time to do it yourself. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.